with a huge Pretty Little Thing haul. I went on to Pretty Little Thing just needing a few bits like for summer like denim shorts and stuff like that. And I got a bit carried away, of course, I always do. So I actually have three whole bags of clothes and shoes. I did go a bit like OTT, like it was a bit like, why have I done this to myself? But I got some really cool bits, some really nice bits I'll definitely wear. I also have a couple of bits from Boohoo that I'm just going to show you as well, just like makeup outfits. Make sure you subscribe down below, hit the button, I'd really, really appreciate it. And if you want to see what I got in my huge PLT haul, just keep on watching. I um, wasn't lying when I said I have three huge bags, so there is a lot. We're going to get through it together. I'm not too sure how I'm going to go about this. I think I'm going to do summery bits first and then I'm going to do dressy stuff like going out outfits. We're just going to start off with some really cute summer pieces. So here is the first two pieces. Now some of these I wouldn't actually pair together but I'm just putting them on as an outfit such. Just to show you more items because there are a lot of things to get through today. So I'm just kind of putting things together to show you them separately. This was on sale for like three pounds and I thought, well, do you know what, I might as well just get it. It'll just be nice for like lounging around like in the summer, like in the house kind of thing. So I just picked it up. I think it fits really nicely. I will make sure I put all the sizes and prices on the screen as well. And the prices that I put on will be the price I bought them at, not what they might be on the website now. Because obviously I did get them when there was like a reduction on. But Pretty Little Thing always have like sales on, so probably won't be far off that price if not the same. And then the next piece is these ruched bum like active wear leggings. That was my knee that cleats, that really hurt. I love these. I love, love the way they fit. That like, they proper tuck you in. They're really, really nice design. However, the ruching on the bum, I don't even know if I can show you. I'm like, the ruching makes my bum look good, okay? I don't know what it is. It's just a bit weird. Like, I can't show you because it just looks strange. I do really like them. Like, because from the front, they are really flattering. But yeah, I think I'm going to return these leggings. But I'll probably keep the jumper because I just think it's really cute, like, loungewear kind of thing. I was going to rate them, but I think I just forget, like, throughout the video. So I'm not going to rate them. But I do really like these. But I think I'm going to return the leggings and keep the kind of knitted hoodie. I keep going to put my hands in my pockets, but there's no pockets on these shorts. <laughs> Here we have a cute little red racer top, like crop top. This is really, really nice. I really like this. It is really thin material and like pretty little thing tops, like their racer tops. They aren't thick, but I don't mind it because I'll just be wearing this like around the house. But yeah, I really like this. I like the way it fits, where it sits, all that good stuff. And obviously I love the colour red. And then we have some disco shorts. Now these were from the Shape collection, if I'm right. And they are really nice. Um, I'm a bit funny about the material. They also gape a little at the back. Um, you can wear a belt, but I don't really like wearing belts. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep these. I do have another pair of denim shorts that I'm going to try on. Yeah, they're not bad. If I had no choice, I would wear them. They're comfortable. But again, the material on these are a bit thin. But for the price you pay, like, you can't expect things to be. My expectations are just way too high, but like, for the price I pay things. I think these were, like, £10, which is so good for a pair of denim shorts. I pair them together. It's kind of like a cute little beach outfit, picnic outfit. Like good stuff. I'll definitely be keeping the top. I just have to make my mind up about the shorts. Okay, I'm so happy with these shorts. Oh my gosh. I hate shopping for denim shorts because they just never fit. These are from the Shape Collection on PLT, but they're like proper denim shorts, not like the others was like a flimsy fake denim kind of thing. These are real denim and they are insane. They fit perfectly. Like I've never had a pair of denim shorts fit like this. They're a perfect blue colour and I really like the distressed edges as well. I did it with this black bodysuit. Now I'm actually really disappointed in this. Basically this is from the Shape Collection so I thought it'd be really really flattering. However I got it in a size I think 10. It's just not sitting across my chest right. I thought it'd be a bit of a thicker material so it'd like cinch. I don't know what I thought. Maybe I just was going crazy. But the bodysuit just keeps sliding down. So I'm actually, I'm going to have to return this. I really do love it. I just wish it fit a bit better. And then if I got a size down, which would be an eight, that'd be just too small. It's just this corner of it as you keep sliding down. And I don't want to be out and having to like hook it up every five minutes. So I'm gutted about that, but I am in love with these shorts. I'm going to pair these with a few tops I've got as well later on in the video. Just dress these shorts up and dress them down. You can put a belt on if you want. Or you can just pair it with like a light hoodie or something. So yeah, I love these shorts, but the bodysuit has been a little bit of a disappointment, I have to say. 
At the start I said I did have some Boohoo pieces to show you as well. I did a little shopping Boohoo. I'm gonna kind of put them in throughout, but I thought I just need to give this top a little moment. I had this a while and I was gonna return it, but then I missed the deadline day. So I kept it. Obviously I've still got the tag on it if you can see. <laughs> When I first bought it, I was really arming and ironing about it. But I've put it on today. I feel like it's such a statement top. Honestly, I'm in love with it. The only thing is, obviously, it's sequins. So it's going to irritate my arm under here where it's going to rub there. However, I just think as a top, it is beautiful. Like, the colour is incredible. I think it's really flattering across the chest. I feel really supported as well. It's not, like, loose or anything. The top actually does kind of come down and then go up like that and round as a back end to a crop top. For the purpose of this, I've just tucked it in. Probably pair this with a white pair of shorts or something. The insane, like, proper festival party summer outfit. Before I talk about these two pieces I'm wearing, I'm just going to say about these two dresses. Now, I've tried them on. This one was see-through and this one just didn't suit me. They are bandeau dresses, um, like midi dresses. They were quite long. Just didn't suit my figure and they were obviously a bit see-through. The material is quite thin. So, I've not inserted the clip in here because I don't want to embarrass myself like that. So, yeah, these two dresses are definitely going in the trans pile. <laughs> so, we have here these shorts, these fleecy kind of shorts. And we also have this chocolate brown race up top. This is the same one as the red one earlier in the video. Absolutely love this. I really love the colour as well. I didn't think I'd love the colour as much as I do. These shorts, I'm still a bit, I'm an iron about. Just because I feel like I could have got a size down. I'm not too sure. I feel like they're a bit big and baggy here. If I was to wear them in the house, I'd probably keep them. But I kind of wanted to wear them like to walk down to the shops or something. It's like I could go out in them if I needed to. Fit like nice around the back, but they just are a bit baggy. I probably could get a size down. However, do I really love them that much to go to that much effort to order them, get a size down and then hate them and return them? Probably not. These are really, really thick material. Like you can tell that they're super, super thick. Like they're not gonna rip. It's not like flimsy material. So in that sense, I really, really do love them. But yeah, definitely going to keep the top. I'm obsessed with this top. Love the colour. Love the fit. But the shorts are a bit on and Let me know down below if you think I can wear them. I feel like I just look a bit like a lump. And I also got the race up back jersey top in a khaki green. I hope you can tell, but I really am trying so hard not to buy things that are black. Obviously, you have that bodysuit and there's a few other pieces that are. But I really am trying so hard to push the boat out and get things that are coloured, even if they're pastel colours or neutral, but just not black. Because I feel like my entire wardrobe is black. And if you've seen my wardrobe decluttering video, you will know that half my wardrobe is genuinely black. I really have been trying to push the boat out and get some more colour. And I really like this colour as well. I feel like because I have blonde hair, quite a few colours suit me. Or I hope they do anyway. People tell me they do. I think they do, but maybe you don't think so. But I do think that I can pull off quite a number of colours because of my blonde hair, which I really appreciate. <laughs> this is the short with the khaki one as well. Before moving on, I just have to tell you about this. Now, obviously when I, my order came, I check through and make sure everything I ordered is there. So I get to this and I'm like... What is that? Like, I didn't order that. I could have swore I did not order that. I go onto my order, like, online, and it says, it literally says, pistachio basic rib strappy frill hem cami top. Which, okay, that is what that is. But I go onto the photo of what the model looks like. She's not wearing this. And I'm going to put a picture here because I, I know people order stuff online that looks so different. I personally never had it myself. Everything I've ordered has always came, looks like it does on the website. But this, I was like, no flipping ways that was the models wearing. I felt like doing a TikTok, you know, one of the ones that goes, I ordered this and I got this. But I'm not going to do that. But yeah, I was just a bit surprised because this is really not what she was wearing. And I was really gutted because I actually really did want the top she has on, not this. But I don't even want to try it on because I know that that is just like not a vibe. Yeah, sorry PLT, um, you need to update your photos. <laughs> okay, now I've got these both on. I wouldn't wear these together. I thought they might look okay, but the shorts were way too high-waisted. These shorts are from Boohoo. Absolutely love these. They're not see-through. They're like the perfect material. High-waisted, belted, absolutely adore these. Top, on the other hand, pretty little thing. I like that ruched sleeves 
a me that don't go like I don't know what it is well it's obviously a me problem isn't it so there's a few things wrong with this top like first of all sleeves aren't staying up I don't know if this is a me problem or like I've got the top on wrong or something but basically it zips up at the back like that ignore that it really does not go with these shorts but I cannot be bothered to change and find something to put it with the sleeves are extremely long we had this in my other video didn't we when I was trying on some dresses and some dresses were just really long on my arms maybe I do just have small arms which really sucks but I have small legs so we're just gonna have to live across the chest it just keeps falling down I really thought this was gonna be so good but I just look Sometimes my clothing hauls end up in a bit of a shambles and I think this is one of the looks. Like, what is with that? Like, even if I pull it up, like, it just does not. Oh, am I supposed to do that? No, I'm surely not. Does that look better or worse? Maybe that's why they're falling down. Honestly, let me know if I've just made that better or worse. But no, they're falling down again. So they're okay if, like, I pull them up. Does it look alright? I don't think it does. I just don't vibe with it. I love the colour. Like, this colour is so, so nice. But it's just like the ruching in the sleeves and the chest area. It's just so much. So I'm going to keep these and I am returning this. Much to my dismay, it's just not working. Like, just not working. <laughs> this one I am absolutely heartbroken over. Like, absolutely heartbroken over. So, the vibe for this was, if any of you seen Glow Up, you'll know that Sophie on there, spoiler alert, the winner of it, she wears like these knitted vests and some shirts and she can really pull it off and my mum was like, why don't you try, like I reckon you could put it off. And I was like, do you know what, no, maybe I will. So I even ordered multiple sizes of these shirts and it's just not cute. Obviously the shirt would need an iron, but again, the arms are so long, this is a size 8, the arms are so long and the knitted jumper is so short like I cannot turn around right now. I feel like if the sizing was a bit better I'd keep it. I just paired it with some ankle boots. I would also pair it with some knee high boots or some like Doc Martens, something like that. However, I'm so sad about this. I tried every size combination I could. The shirt just wasn't long enough and then nor was the knitted bit and just in the shirt. This is a size 8 shirt and the arms are still long and I couldn't get it at 6 because it will not go over my chest. So I'm really gutted about this. I actually might keep the knit jumper itself, just wear a pair of jeans. I'm not too sure I'd have to put it on with some jeans to see how it looks, but this is an outfit I really want it to work. I feel like it doesn't, it doesn't suit me, not the right size. Hopefully I can keep this and pull this off with some jeans, but the shirts are a no-go. The 10 was big as well, and then obviously even the eight arms are so long. But I'm going to take this off because I'm currently sweating. The weather's got really nice outside. So let's get into the next outfit. This is the hugest, if I don't laugh, I'll cry moment I may have ever had. You're not going to believe this. Oh, this is a size 8. These are a size 8. The top is just a top I had on earlier. So ignore the top. It's the trousers we are focusing on. I um, saw these on the website and was like, oh, do you know what? I really like the look of them i'm gonna get some so i got them in a size 8 and a size 10 i've put these on these in size 8 okay my bottom size i usually buy clothes in a 10 or a 12 i am also 5 foot 3 5 foot 4 at push i think you'd have to be at least 5 foot 7 to pull these off full stop and i know it's a size of trouser however we're in heels as well like can you see how much material i have on the bottom like i am genuinely having to lift it up so I'm not treading on the bottom. So these are supposed to be really pretty scuba trousers. And on the model, they look insane. I'm actually going to insert a picture here. Because I really knew I wasn't going to look like her. But I really wanted to try and get the vibe. She looked incredible. But I thought the size would be fine. Like I didn't think it would be as long as they are. Um, so I'm going to stand on the chair and show you like what they look like too. Just so you get a real like overall. This, I really hope you can see. But this is what we are working with but literally my poor little legs are just being swarmed in these <laughs> trousers so these are definitely going back because i will not be able to fix these in any sort of way not even like take them up and heels are a no-go too because they weren't fitting with heels i'm just gonna hold them like this so they don't drag on the floor i'm extremely upset about these i really had high hopes i really wanted to look good in them but i really don't and i dread to think what the size 10 looks like how long they are but I know I'm short, but I don't think, I know five foot three is like below average. But I just thought like usually I'm okay. Not in this instance. So the trousers themselves, absolutely love, like fallen in love. Just on me, 
no, not a chance in the world. <laughs> so if anyone knows any trousers like these that fit really well, please let me know down below or give me a message because I would love some trousers like these, especially white ones. Like the material is so thick and like they're not see-through. I really struggle with getting things that are white and see-through. Like they just everything I buy that's white is see-through, unless they are a really thick material. So please let me know if you know any white trousers like this, like kind of scuba trousers, but just like petite ones for short people because uh, it's me, I'm the issue, but I sadly can't do anything about it. So I got these pair of white shorts. Um, I am gutted about these as well. I really hope they're not see-through. I've got like black underwear, so I'm just gonna hold my hands like here. These are a bit big. I got them in a size 10, which I thought would be completely fine. Like I thought, if all things, they might be a bit small. They've got about that much bit extra fabric and there isn't loopholes, so you can't belt it. So this is gonna have to go back because it doesn't fit. I do like them, it's kind of like a crepey material. Obviously, again, I think they're see-through, which isn't cute. I do just really want a pair of white shorts. I feel like I'm never gonna find a pair that I like. But that is all for like this pair of shorts. Next, we have this baby blue bodysuit. I've just paired it with the jeans from earlier as well. I absolutely am in love with this bodysuit. It fits so perfectly, like so, so perfect. The colour is so cute, proper summer vibes. Can't lie, the material isn't the stretchiest, so getting it on was a bit hard. To be honest, it doesn't have much stretch at all, but I think that's the material that it's made out of. So if you do like something a bit stretchy, I wouldn't get this. Really comfortable to wear. I really like like a no-shoulder vest kind of bodysuit as well. Yeah, I feel like it fits perfectly. Really love it with these shorts. Could also just wear this with like a skirt or trousers, really dress it up with heels. So I've paired it with these shoes. I hope you can see. These are brand new from Pretty Little Thing as well. I am in love, like that in love. I've actually worn these a few times already before filming this because I was that impatient. I think I got them and then the next day I wore them to work. Like I wanted to break them in so badly. These are what they look like. They are a square toe sandal slider thing with a huge chain detail on the back. And a tiny little heel as well, just so it's not like completely flat on the floor. But I am in love with these, can't lie. On the first few times I was wearing them, I did get blisters like just by my toes and side of my feet but now i've broken them in i love them they do make quite a loud sound like when you're walking like when they hit the ground so if you don't want a loud shoe i wouldn't get these but they're the perfect shoe if you don't want to wear a heel because they're still super kind of dressy just without a heel and perfect for summer as well because they're like a sandal i actually got this in a sage green as well so we're gonna go try that on i'm pretty sure i'm gonna love it as much as this one but we're just gonna try it on anyway just as i thought i absolutely love in the sage green as well i would say that you could probably size up like i could probably get 12 in this and it still be fine because the material isn't stretchy it is a bit tough to get on and off with a full face of makeup on but i guess day to day if i was wearing this i wouldn't have full face of makeup on but because it doesn't have that stretch it is quite hard to get on and off but other than that i absolutely love it i think i prefer it in the sage green but i think if i had like black shorts or something on i'd love the baby blue as well i just didn't like the blue and blue together but yeah absolutely love this also have the shoes on too as well i also have purchased these sunglasses now these are insane i don't actually have any like i think they were chocolate sunglasses they were called and um, like gold frames like brown these are just incredible like look at that huge kind of bits at the side which i love they are quite heavy for sunglasses but i do love them i think these are like 10 pounds which is a bargain i only really get black lens sunglasses so i thought i'd get some brown ones and absolutely love them and the next top i'm gonna try on i'm gonna wear these shorts with however i don't think i'd wear it with these shorts like looking at it is quite dressy but i didn't bring any trousers down or jeans or anything so we're just gonna pair it with the shorts and we're gonna ignore that it's not an outfit here we have this lime corset top now i don't actually know how to feel about this i won't be keeping it because the sleeves are actually like non-adjustable and they just fall down so I won't be keeping it for that reason. But the design, I'm not too sure. I'm really digging the colour. I like, literally am in love with it. Like I feel like it's such a good summer colour. But yeah, these sleeves are obviously going down. But I don't know. I quite like the corset. I don't have any corset style tops whatsoever. It goes down into a V like this. And then behind it is just like a straight kind of crop top. I'm actually not sure if I kept this or got a smaller size what I'd wear it with. I don't know if I'd go with trousers or skirt. I wouldn't have a clue if I'm being honest with you. Fashion isn't my forte if I'm being honest. Makeup is. Me and styling outfits don't really go together. I could never be a stylist. If someone told me what to wear it with or someone styled me in it, I think I'd absolutely love it. Definitely need a smaller size, but I feel like the smaller size might 
comprehend what's going on here which is won't be good i really do like it like the color I'm, i think it's the color like i'm just in love with color and it's a bit different for me like i don't have any tops like this i don't have any like corset tops or any abstract shapes if you want to call it that so i'm gonna return this because of the sleeves like if you just see like i could not i was just getting changed and they were falling down like that so if they had adjustable things it might be a different story but because they don't they're just like three to four whenever like i'm really holding my shoulders up right now to keep them up now on to the last two pieces next we have this stunning green number i am so in love with this it's so so different it is ruched which we all know i love over here so it ruches all the way up the side that's it from the back hold your figure up beautifully you can also pull it down if you wanted to or you could lift it up and just get a bit more ruching on the stomach which i probably will do i really like the top design of it it's high neck it's sleeveless i think it's beautiful it's also like a silky material i think you can tell in the camera but it is like a silky material super lightweight but it is not see-through even though it's a thin material it's not see-through which obviously is great i got this in my normal size 10 which i think was the right choice yeah i really like this i think it's a really nice summer party going out dress i've also paired it with some white stiletto heels from pretty little thing however i think these i need to get in a smaller size which would be a three which i literally have no shoes in a three however they are a bit tight it's either that or i just can't walk in them i feel like i'm gonna break my ankle um, but I feel like there's a little bit of a gap at the back. But absolutely in love with this. Love how it fits. Love the colour. Love the pattern. Super different. Super out there. And I think it just makes a statement. Like you could just piece it with like a white bag. White shoes. And you'd be ready to go. Pretty Little Thing also had so many abstract pieces. Like pattern pieces and stuff like that. Like I genuinely fell in love with them all. I just wouldn't necessarily wear them for myself. It's just one of them statement pieces. And this is the last item. Now, it is the same as the green one, um, but just in orange. I thought I would prefer the green one, but I think I like the orange. I feel like the ruching is done a little bit tighter on this one, but I think I can adjust that myself if I was to keep the green one. If I had to pick between the two, I'd pick the orange just because I'm more likely to wear it, I think, than the green. I don't know, maybe. Who actually knows, because I definitely don't. But I do know I love this dress. I love this style of dress. Obviously, the ruching is beautiful. It's the same as the other one. But just for reference, that's what it looks like. I do like it because it kind of creates a different shape here as well. Super great length as well. I feel like I could go out and I wouldn't be pulling it down all the time. Which with some mini dresses, that does happen. Like, I'm walking and they just rise up. I'm like, oh my god. So I'm like that the whole night. However, with these, I feel like they'd be fine because they're a nice length. Just for reference, I've paired it with the white heels as well. And also, I just got this white bag. This was from Pretty Little Things, where I've had this a while. White with the bright colour really, really is a vibe. That is my huge Pretty Little Thing haul completed. So that is the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed this haul. I feel like I spent way too much money, but I got some pieces that I really, really am going to love this summer. Comment down below any other hauls you'd like to see me do. They can be clothing, they can be shoe hauls, makeup hauls, beauty hauls, whatever you fancy. If you did like the video, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up make sure you subscribe down below and turn the notification bell on so you get a notification every time i upload a new video everything will be linked down in the description box for you that is all from me and i'll see you in my next one bye